All right, now we're doing that specialty made soil that I do here at King's Junction. And this is basically, instead of just buying a bag off the shelf at the shopping center. You still start with that, but you add to it. So, yet again, we use premium quality potting mix. You just can't go and get a shovel of soil out of your front yard. There's gotta be a lot more to it than that. So we put some of that in, we won't need too much. And this is what, how I make up your little doggy bags, okay? Little doggy bags. <laughs> little doggy bags is in to take away. Not, there's nothing in there that you wouldn't want in there. <laughs> oh, I crack myself up. Okay, so remember, this is gonna be really good for drainage, so perlite. I think they look a bit like the little white beanbag balls, if you know what I mean. So that's a bit like snow, isn't it? That goes in. Then because these plants are all quite small, I put a little bit of this, which is propagation sand. Again, very good quality product. Pay that little bit extra, guys, and your plants will love you. And no, we're not sponsored by anyone, but we're very happy to look into that too. So, this is by Brunnings again. This is called um, vermiculite. Anyway, vermiculite? I think it's vermiculite, actually. Anyway, it's propagation. So you open this. This is a brand new bag. This is very light, by the way. It's not like that bag of sand. Very light. It looks a bit like... I don't know. It actually looks like little pebbles, but it's not. It's really soft like cork. Very, very soft. So there you go, you put that in. And, oh, just a second, I'll get some Koya too, because that's really good. Sometimes you'll see Koya in shopping centers around the tops or office places. Um, it's just that sort of the shell of the coconut. Um, the fibres off the coconut shell, basically. And you'll see people put that on the top of a lot of indoor plants just to cover up the soil. It's not a bad idea. Stops those little, um, tiny little bugs getting in, being a pain. I do it because it just gives that extra texture and great yet again uh, for a retention of um, moisture, but also to help um, get that soil through there. And then you mix it up. And yet again, we're making a cake, it looks like. So it looks like that. I don't know if you can see it. I really do need a camera crew, don't I? There you go. So you mix it all up. When I was at um, TAFE, because I've studied horticulture at TAFE, um, we used to make up our soil mixes in a, um, you know those concrete machines that roll round and round and round? Fabulous when you're doing big quantities of soil mixes. And you just literally shovel all this stuff in there. So here we go. This is my little concreter. <laughs> okay, so that's all mixed up. I want to put a bit more soil in there though, because these are for my ferns. This isn't for succulents. And I think um, a little bit more would be good. So let's break some more in there. And remember, Ferns can be a little fussy. Once they dry out, they're very hard to get back. Um, quite often being in this shop with the air conditioning and that, I've had to cut quite a few back, let them start again because I've, I've let it dry out. Um, okay, that looks nice. Moist, that's good. Moist. There's a lot of people out there that don't like that word. Okay, so we'll put the soil in. Remember, you don't want it any higher than what's in that pot. So we put a little bit down the bottom first. And then we're gonna, because there's more than one plant going in, we need to position. So if it's, you've got tall plants, you always put the tall plants at the back. But remember, this is a glass vessel, which means you're gonna see it from all 360 degree sides. So, and then I wanna put this in as well. Maybe I should have done just one big one. 
See what I mean? It's good to do it here, then you can change. No, I think I'll just I think I'll just do these two because they're quite different. You've got to remember in a couple of months these are going to grow quite big. So you get your little mini scissors and you keep them trimmed down and things like that. So oh I don't know, do I want just burns? You see me in my thinking process. Now I'm going to do both. See? I always do more. Okay, so again, squish a little container like that. Might as well tip it out over your pot because it's nice to get that potty mix in there. This is a really well watered fern, this one, so that's nice. I'll put that at the back, which is your front. And then I'm going to put this at my front. I'm not sure I'm happy with it. No, I'm really not. I think I am going to put a third fern 